Hi, this is Robert with GenXComputers.com. Today I'm going to walk you through a reload of a Compact CQ7. And we're going to begin. I've never reloaded one of these, so but pretty much all reloads have similar systems. So I'm going to hit F8 when the computer starts, as you've seen. And then I'm going to go to repair your computer. And most factory reloads have the same thing in common F8 repair your computer if yours doesn't show that then you might have um, if it's a different brand such as Asus or something it, it might be a little bit different to where you might have to have 12 F10 to get in it just all depends on the brand and how they set it up but HP typically set theirs up this way typically so we're going to wait for this to pop up and we're going to choose, we're going to restore this to factory settings. So I'm going to show you how, how to do just that. And I'm doing two of them, reloading two of them. So let's wait for it to boot up here. It's thundering outside right now. So you might have here a lot of thunder. So if you had to um, select your user account, then enter a password if you have to. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to HP Recovery Manager because we want to recover this computer restore it to out of state out of box state it's going a little slow here so once you get this menu here These are the options they give you. And this is what we want. Factory settings. And I'm going to choose without backing up files. Obviously, you know that you need to back up all files before doing this, as I already have. And unplug the hard drive. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and start, start it, which it actually have started. So um, it's going to go through quite a few steps and generally take in anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour or so. And it's going to re reload the computer to out-of-state out of box factory settings. And you're going to need to do updates such as Flash, Adobe, and, and things of that nature. So... Um, I recommend using nanite.com to do all your updates and load the basic programs on that you need and you'll be good to go after installing all the updates such as service pack 1 etc the computer will be good to go this is Robert GenixComputers.com YouTube user big on you thank you for watching my video